It was pr pretty tough. For example, the food was pr pretty pretty appalling. Uh, they would be cooking breakfast because of the n n number of bodies which which had to be fed. Um, they would start cooking, say, the previous afternoon. So uh, the uh, congealed uh, bacon and uh, and eggs and what have you were uh, bullet hard. You, you uh, wait, waited in, in uh, Chatham Barracks for your number and name to be called, and you went, there was a drafting office you didn't know whether you were going to be drafted to a, um, a, a battleship, cruiser, or what. And uh, in my case, uh, I was told to report for... Um, I was given a, a number, and this number uh, involved travelling to Glasgow from Chatham, uh, to Scotstam uh, Yarrow's Yard and I arrived there, I had an overnight journey. I uh, was moved from Charing Cross Station to Euston Station by lorry and an overnight journey as I mentioned to, to Glasgow and when I arrived at Glasgow the uh, RTO he told me to go to uh, Yarrow's Yard and I found uh, uh, a, a, a bird class ship which was HMS Wild Goose. It was brand new. It hadn't been commissioned into the Royal Navy. So I had a good uh, baptism of fire in a sense that uh, I went out on uh, sea trials, flying the uh, Red Duster, and uh, uh, she proved to be uh, very seaworthy and uh, acceptable to the uh, captain, Commander Weems, and uh, we returned back back to uh, uh, the Clyde and uh, we commissioned her and flew the white ensign. Uh, after, <coughs> after that we went to a, a Tobermory in Scotland, in the Western Isles, for uh, anti-submarine uh, training. Uh, and uh, we were under 